huge win for the Knicks last night. That man right there, Jalen Brunson, would miss the entire second quarter with an injury. Didn't even know if he would come back into the game. He was questionable. He came back. He was a little quiet in the third quarter, but took over in the fourth. However, he hurt his foot. OG Ananobi has a sore hamstring. Craig, how concerned are you about the injuries on the Knicks, regardless of the win? Yeah, obviously I'm concerned, but I'm a living the moment guy, and I'm going to enjoy this for the 24 hours. I'm going to worry about the injuries when I get an injury report and hear what happens uh, in today's get together and tomorrow's get together uh, before uh, you know the game Friday night. It would be great to have that third night off, which I usually hate. Uh, you know, the NBA in the playoffs where they make you wait in between games. The Knicks obviously could use it. But uh, I'm not cons- – look, I'm concerned about it. You have to be because OG played an incredible game last yeah. night uh, when they needed it, especially on offense. Like, he's not the go-to guy offensively. He's knocking down three-point shots. As you said, Timmy, he was driving to the goal. And it's interesting to me that uh, Indiana has some complaints about how these games have been officiated. Uh, I give the Pacers credit. They had a, a desire yesterday to be physical. Yeah. And to try to you know, knock the Knicks off the ball and get as physical as they could be without eliciting a, a whistle from the referee. And I thought they actually did a good job. You know, that's that's not why Brunson got hurt. It was a fluke play where it looked like he may have taken the yeah. knee yeah. You know, to his upper thigh or his right. inner thigh and had some kind of mu- you know, muscle contusion or something like that. I did not think it was dirty at all. But it was apropos of what they wanted to do. What I'm trying to figure out now is, you know, can the Knicks keep this up knowing that, you know, Bogey's out, obviously, he, you know, he's not in the series at all. Brunson's obviously banged up now. You got a hard playing 48 minutes every single night. The bench is thin to begin with. Mm-hmm. OG is a concern. Yes. And hamstrings, as you guys can talk about, yes. are is an injury that you have to be concerned about because you may feel great in every other aspect of your body. And the hamstring just won't let you run. So I am concerned about the OG injury more than anything else. You know, Brunson came out and said after the game, I'm good. You know, I got whatever treatment I had to get. I imagine he's sore today, but he's good. And he's got that warrior mentality that not a lot of guys in sports have today. I'm going to tell you this. I don't know if he's good or not. We don't know what's wrong with his foot. But I tell you this, once he get the MRI, MRI, we will find out and we will see. Uh, I'm concerned about... Jalen Brunson, too, because that's an injury that shows up later on in a series or later on the next day. Yeah. And not when you plan, because you ha- you've been playing with the adrenaline, like 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 Jennings was saying earlier. But I tell you this, and Noby, I'm I, that that hamstring. Yeah. I don't know. And, and I always tell you this, Craig. Yeah. They thin and they plan their guys a lot of minutes. Yes. This Which I think they, is a good it, thing. I it, think that I think it, they're but, prepared but, but, for but this. It's, but it's catching up with them now. Okay. It's catching up with them now. And we talking about the physicality. Yeah. All right. Indiana came out like you said. I want to be physical. Yeah. I want to be physical. But they wasn't ready, re- ready for uh, New York's physicality. New York came in. They gave it right back. When they gave it right back to them, yeah. Indiana was like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if I now can take this. Now, walk me through this, Tim, because I uh, you know, watched the game last night, and I felt this way about game one also, to be fair. It seems to me, I, and obviously Halliburton had a much better game you know, shooting the ball yesterday than he did in game one where he was a no-show. Yesterday he shot the ball a lot and had a great game offensively. I would keep T.J. O'Connell in the game in the fourth quarter. As much as I hate him because he's playing against the Knicks, and he's one of those types of guys just gets under your skin. Everybody hates him. Dude, but he's a ball player. He's a ball player. And every time they take him out, I'm like, yes. But I'm going to tell you this. Last night, when the physicality got a little (coughs) tough on both sides, Jalen Brunson said, I think at that that particular time, with his foot injury, Jalen Brunson said, I got to come up big for my team, especially OG out. I got to come up big for my team. And he forgot all about his foot, and he took it right to McConnell. McConnell. Yeah. And he went right through his face, got a couple of three-point plays, went to the hole, got some step-back jump shots, and he just started feeling himself down now. But, um, you know, OG Ananobi, I can't say enough about him. He's never been – a go-to guy on yeah. any team. He's always been a filler. He always been the other guy, but he always does his job well when the ball comes to well, him and when your team needs him. Let me walk you guys through something and see if you guys have ever experienced anything like this. There's a storyline now after last night's game, 
I know you had an over before the hamstring went on him on that fast break, uh, which they did score in that possession, but he missed the layup because he pulled up lane with the hamstring and didn't come back, and it wasn't in the game for the fourth quarter. There is a thought process out there that the reason – OG Ananobi had this crazy, amazing offensive output last night, which we've not seen from him, right, frankly, uh, in his short time with the New York Knicks, is that Sexy Red, who's a, a well-known rapper and singer, was sitting courtside, and he's got a thing for her. And someone pointed out to him that she was courtside, so he was like, I'm going to be the 2016 Kawhi Leonard uh, version of myself tonight, and I want to make sure she recognizes that I'm the guy. And uh, I want to make it clear that Sexy Red, um, who uh, has a song about uh, you know, things I can't talk about yeah. on the show with Drake, but it involves like touching your thighs and bending over or something. In any event, um, <laughs> I give you... Dude, I was driving my daughter and two other 22-year-old girls to the train station the other day. And I go, you guys got one song until we get there. And they, it was Sexy Red. So I'm familiar with Sexy Red. Hands on and, your knees. And something about the hoochie coochie <laughs> or something. I don't know what it is. Uh, in, any, in any event, thank you, Timmy. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, Tim explained to me what the lyrics meant Tim this morning. Tim bowed out. In, in <laughs> any event, <laughs> Sexy Red gets a free pass to all future Nick games. Because of OG and Let me ask you, how old is Dude, your daughter? Uh, she's 23. She, oh, she, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, th yeah. I, th I, th I thought she yeah. was like 12 or 13. No, you let her listen to God. Her. I was yeah. like, come on now. No, no, she's 20. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do. Some people do. <laughs> In any event, if that's what it takes. I don't for... think that that's what it was. No? I think the ball found him, and he was aggressive Tim, playing you the told game. us a story I, that I, earlier that, that in was your... then. That was Tim, then. That Tim, was then. That Tim, was then. That, you that, told me no. a story once that early in your career. Uh -oh. You had a triple double because Janet Jackson was in the building. No, no. You no, told I, us no, that. No, I, I said, I said, I played terribly. Oh, you went the other way. Right. Oh, uh, my bad on that. Was, my, was and Greg once too, told us a story that he went into the huddle and said to Brett Favre, Halle Berry's here. I want 10 <laughs> catches ball. today. Give me the ball. Is this not true? Back. Hey, you can you say whatever you need to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know a lot about Sexy Red, but she brought out the best in OG Ananobi, so she's not my favorite female rapper, I can tell you that right now. Hey there, thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.